What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel on Digital SAT Math. We are continuing this series on Khan Academy, going through every single category. We're almost through the first round of foundations. We're in this last subcategory of geometry and trigonometry. So without further ado, let's do this. We're going to be <coughs> going through the problems in real time for the first time. And uh, these problem walkthroughs, in my opinion, are some of the best ways to learn the math to prepare you for success to knock out that 800. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So V equals L W H. So they're giving you the formula for volume of a rectangular prism. So uh, right rectangular prism. What is the volume of cubic meters of a rectangular prism that is six meters long, two meters wide, and 10 meters tall? So basically, and this is pretty cool because, you know, a lot of for, uh, volume formulas are given on the SAT and the reference sheet. So you, this is a plug and chug situation. If they're saying that it's six meters long, that's what you're plugging in for L. Uh, two meters wide, that's what you're plugging in for W. And 10 meters tall, you plug and chug. Six times two times 10, 12 times 10 is 120. So the answer is 120 meters cubed. Done. All right, next. Now again, they're giving you this volume formula. This is for a cone also provided on the reference sheet. And they're saying, what is the volume in cubic inches of a right circular cone with a radius of 12 inches and a height of two inches? So again, this is a plug and chug situation. So we're gonna do volume equals one third times pi radius squared, that's 12 squared, and then times a height of two. All right, and now notice they're leaving the answer in terms of pi. So that's really helpful because then you don't have to actually calculate and approximate and all that stuff. All right, so let's see if we can do this as, as easily as possible without a calculator. So 12 squared is 144 times 2 is 288 times 1 third times pi. Uh, so 288 divided by 3, let me think about that for a second. 270 would be 96, I believe. Uh, let me just double check. 3 goes into 28, 9 times 27, yeah, 96. All right, so the answer then is 96 pi, uh, and that means A is the winner. Done. All right, next. Um, hey, thank you, Oxbridge UK. Appreciate that. All right, so this one, the formula gives the surface area A of a cube with side lengths S. Boom, 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 boom. Let's draw a cube. All right, it's not the prettiest cube. S, S, S. Um, and that is surface area, right? It's if, if you have a cube, you take the area of one face and multiply it by six because all the faces have the same area, right? So what is the surface area of a cube with side lengths of three halves? So basically, they're telling you the side length. Once again, it's a plug and chug situation. Six times three halves squared. All right. So three halves squared is nine fourths, right? Square the top and the bottom, and then you multiply by six. Six times nine is 54 over four, which reduces to 27 over two. So we get to enter that as 27 over two or divide 27 by two, that's 13.5, right? 13.5, you should be able to enter it either way. Let's check it out. Boom, done, yeah. All right, last one. So this is the volume of a sphere. For because volume of sphere, again, it's on the reference sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. What is the volume in cubic feet of a sphere with a radius of two feet? All right, so we're gonna plug and chug. Two in for R. So what's two cubed, right? Four thirds pi two cubed. Two cubed is eight. Eight times four is 32 over three times pi. And that's it. And I did it mentally, but of course you can use a calculator, and that means D is the winner. Done. All right, that's pretty much it for these four questions. We're gonna be moving on tomorrow to another to, to the next topic. And like I said, we're almost done with this first series. This is again, foundations level, which it's gonna increase in difficulty as we go through the medium and advanced. Anyways, if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to click that like button. If you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Last but not least, if you are prepping for the digital SAT, make sure to check out the SATcrashcourse.com. Use the code SCALAR at checkout. You'll get a 20% discount. It's the best of the best in my opinion. And I've also partnered with them and made video explanations that come with the purchase of those 10 practice tests. So you get a video explanation for every problem. Nobody else has that. So I can't uh, recommend that highly enough. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.